Here in the Dragon's Den, cash-hungry entrepreneurs are waiting to pitch their business ideas and inventions. They think they can make millions, but they need money to get their businesses going. The Dragons are ready to invest their own cash, but only in the best ideas. First to face the Dragons today is Gavin Davis from Berkshire, with an invention designed to solve a problem in his own home. He's looking for £150,000, but remember Dragon's Den rules dictate he has to get at least that or he gets nothing at all. My name is Gavin Davis. The product that I'm presenting today is the Baby Gripper. I'm looking for an investment of £150,000 for a 25% equity stake in the product. As many of you are aware, if you have children or you've ever looked after them, children have large heads which are disproportionate to their bodies and it gives them a high centre of gravity. Most high chairs and seating environments for children are slippery, mostly for cleaning because they've got to be smooth. And when a child sits in the chair, even with a harness on, the high centre of gravity will push the child down and it becomes contorted either on the crotch strap or the crotch post. This causes distress to a child, not least to a parent as you're continually lifting your child up and repositioning it in a restaurant. Sadly, there are instances, recorded instances, of fatalities for children as they become submarined under this tray or they become tangled up in the harnesses. I developed the Baby Gripper. It's an extremely thin, non-slip polymer pad. It's flexible, it's latex-free and food safe. It is designed to stick to any dry surface without glue. I took the product to the London Baby Show at Olympia late October last year. I sold a thousand units of it and attracted the attentions of a major distributor. The product carries a 367% profit margin on it. Today I'm looking for the investment to develop the retail packaging. I'm also looking for the funding to develop a marketing strategy in the UK periodicals and also an internet presence. Any questions? Gavin Davis is looking for a £150,000 investment in his baby gripper invention to stop infants slipping down in their seats. He's offering 25% of the business in return. Gavin. Yes. Hello, I'm Peter. Hello, Peter. How does this work? The best way to demonstrate this product, if I may, is to demonstrate it. <clears throat> Could I ask you please in your chairs just to slide forward and slouch. It should be relatively easy in a leather chair. Now if you could take the baby gripper and place it in the centre of your chair and then sit on it again and then repeat the manoeuvre. Will you pay for any damage to my suit? Absolutely. If there is any. <laughs> you are right though, it's uh, pretty hard to move. It. Yeah. yeah it was, it was. Now you see, remember we're adults and we have a greater mass, so we can shift this. Children can't. And it actually promotes an upright posture that makes the children happy. And to the relief of parents, when you're out eating, the children can't twist around and get out of their chairs. Isn't this just a little piece of sticky back plastic? Isn't that all it is? You could construe it as that, but it isn't. So Perhaps what's the difference between this and what Blue Peter talks about all the time as a piece of sticky back plastic? This product is food safe and latex free for a start. So sticky back plastic has got latex in it? Well it has solvents in it that are not necessarily food safe. And also sticky back plastic isn't very robust. Explain to me what you mean by <coughs> food safe. Food safe simply means there's nothing poisonous in that product. And it's tested to that as well. It carries a BS standard 2782 on it. I'm sure there's a lot of products on the market that are not food safe that do the same thing. The reason I developed this product was when my son was seven months old, I went out looking to buy this product. I couldn't find it. I tried latex discs, rubber discs, I cut up a bath mat with suckers on it, and none of them worked as well as that. Not only that, but you can't use those products which are always thicker, and fold them up and put them in bags as easy as you can with that. Okay, so this is reusable? Yes, it is. How many times can you use it? Indefinitely.
Gavin is handling the dragon's questions well. Now Richard Farley wants to find out if he's protected his idea against potential rivals. Just bringing up the issue of, um, of ability to copy this. The situation with this material is there is only one manufacturer in the entire world that makes it, and it's in the UK, and I have the exclusivity deal on it. It's a definite problem. I've got a few children myself, right. a baby at the moment, eight months old, and it is definitely a problem. Even in the last week, I've seen her slip on a wooden baby chair, mm. and it isn't very nice because the back of their head smacks the wooden baby chair pretty hard. You have your tears. And there's yeah. not a lot you can do. So I'm sort of thinking, is this really a product that actually I could see selling? And I'm starting to believe that perhaps it could because I think it's unique. It is. And there's nothing else like it in the market today. There isn't. Peter Jones seems to have all the reassurances he needs. An offer of investment could be just around the corner. But Theo Pafitis is about to deliver a devastating blow. Gavin. Look. I've just very, very simply, without any effort, strength or agility, done that. I wouldn't let my child go anywhere near it. I'm surprised at that. That would, that would choke a child. It would. How can it be child safe? Well, in the, all the tests that I've done, that hasn't happened. There's no effort taken to do this. And actually, if I bite it, it just falls apart in my mouth. Does it? This is a disaster for Gavin and his pitch. Peter Jones, who was so impressed with the baby gripper, now wants to know more about Gavin's existing safeguards. Can I ask about the testing then? Yes. This BS2782. Yes. It's a food safety testing. So it's done, been done for food rather than what's just happened? Yes, it here. has. Yes. What we could explore uh, with that, so obviously I want to explore that now, is uh, using a thicker polymer on that would be the answer. Go back and find it quick before you sell any more of these and you get... Have you got insurance? Yes, I have, yeah. Kevin, I'd seriously consider a recall. OK. This is not for me. OK. I'm out. Gavin's proposal to make the baby gripper thicker hasn't won the dragon's round. Deborah Meaden's view is crystal clear. Gavin, when you're getting into the child's baby market, you've got to be absolutely positive that the product you're selling as a safety product yeah. is safe. I mean, there's just no further discussion. I'm out. I accept that. I'm also not going to invest, so I'm out. OK. Gavin, unfortunately, uh, I think I have to go the same way. I mean, even if, a, I mean, even if, it's, if it couldn't be done by a two or three year old, you know, the risk that an older child does, it leaves it lying around. This is, this, you would really choke on this substance, wouldn't sure. you? Because it's, yes. so I'm out. OK. It's all over for Gavin. It's left to Peter Jones, who originally loved the product, to have the final word. And Gavin, it's um, a great disappointment to me because I think had this product worked, I, I think I could have invested today. I thought your presentation was brilliant. Okay. I think you're an individual that I could personally work with. Um, Appreciate I it. wish you every success in the future. You've got to go back to the drawing board. They're right, and it's a real shame. So I can't invest either, unfortunately. Sure. So I'm out. Thank you for your time. I'm shocked. Well done, Matt. Well done. Good spot. It's a great idea, though. Next, please. Gavin, you must be so disappointed. Yes. Now, the hardest question for you is, what are you going to do with the products that are already out there? Or, I mean, Theo was talking about recalling them. Yes, I think that's wise advice. We have a database of everyone that's brought one, so it, it's very easy for us to get in contact with them and, and deal with it. It's not a problem. And you agree with the dragons that it's a flaw that renders it sort of at the moment uh, uninvestable? I don't think it's uninvestable from the point of view that it can be altered. At the end of the day, I came here for criticism, I got it, and, and I'm, I'm pleased that I've got something to work with. OK. Back to the drawing board. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>